So this is like the hottest day that we've like eating this way is definitely working for my body. Like while remember I also show you some supplements that I am using. Oh! Hi, hello. In the kitchen now. So first up we have this. If I am using protein powder, I do either try to use this or my balance protein. So balance I use because it tastes really really good and yeah, just really nice. I'm a vanilla girl all the way. This one also is a vanilla one. Um, if I, I have been using this one more because of its natural ingredients and a lot of protein powders that I find, apart from Nutri Organics, um, have a lot of like artificial sweeteners and they're just a, like they're really processed. Like I feel like they need to make a processor to make it taste nice. Like this is like this is pretty good for as clean as it is, but it just doesn't taste as nice as the other ones purely because they're more artificial like obviously this is the collagen so I've been using this every single day so I'll either pop it in that smoothie or I will pop it in literally anything like even if I make like an iced coffee I'll blend this with some almond milk and then pop it in like with the coffee so yeah these are these are really really good um Nutri Organics you know that I love these guys I use them all the time I do have my discount code it is I see 20 so just use that at the checkout it will give you 20% off and then I have my IBS support, which like, I'm not going to recommend to you guys because like, like it doesn't like really, really help. I just use it sometimes and like maybe a little bit, but like it doesn't really, really help. It's still like kind of helpful, but I have used this before. So like it's, it's a really good brand. Like it's super natural. So if anyone is a bit of something like that, bio blend your girl. Iron. When I was vegan, I was actually low in iron. So I still take these. I'm, I don't know if I still need to. I don't know. I, I was just low in iron and it just made me fucking shit. So I, that I ain't gone back. And then activated charcoal. So I did get this from my protein. I also have a discount code for these. I think it is C15 of memory. Correct me if I'm wrong, future Christy. I just have like one or two of these a day. One of these. And then I have this once or twice a day. This, like I said, because um, it's artificial protein, still like I'm trying to, because I am incorporating more chicken and um, protein products within my diet, like dairy and meat and eggs, I find my protein intake has been a lot higher, so I haven't need to have as much artificial protein, which is always a plus. Yeah, so anyway, let me know if like that little chat did actually help anyone or give anyone any advice, because I do love answering anything you guys give me. So keep them coming, keep them in the comments below. Anyway, I haven't even had coffee yet. I don't know why I have all this energy. <sighs> Change of diet, <laughs> kidding. But I'm going to get my morning coffee. I will see you guys when I see you, when I'm looking at you. I do want to make that recipe tonight. So it may be then, it may not be. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just go off how, how we're feeling, you know? <laughs> I need my coffee. <laughs> Look who's come to join us. That's a bottom camera. This is a photo camera. Yes, see you go, Glen Coco. You got the microphone or? Yeah, it, like, so guys, I have a microphone, right? It's so funny. So I have a microphone here, and it's meant to actually go on the top, but it like I it can't go on the top because I got a flip screen and I need to see myself. So I literally have like a hair tie wrapped around. So you can hear me well. This, like you guys seen, I pop um, the chicken in like they were half breast, so they weren't huge. After I marinate them, I let them to marinate for like roughly an hour. So I pop them in here on 200 Celsius for 15 minutes, and now I'm just popping them on the fry pan with a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice, and then I'll sprinkle some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna let these cook until they are brown both sides, continuously popping some lemon juice on them. They're going to be very, very yum. 
and then I'll pop them on the salad with the saute sauce. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. days has literally just been like a massive like show house all our friends have been coming over so we have Mo joining us because like she does live here lol hey. and then <laughs> hey and then we also have Natty girl with the little pigtails she's brought over some Thai because I didn't cook the girls dinner I'm sorry I cooked Tiff and I dinner Tiff how is it I haven't had it yet sorry oh, oh okay oh, and Matt is currently up does. He is doing something on his laptop, but you should see what I made him. He has this like little like tofu fondue. Look at this. It literally looks like fake steak. Wow, okay. Rotten smells bad, but that's all right. just clean this cupboard I now feel on top of the world I literally could do anything right now like <laughs> okay so I'm currently editing this vlog right now and I thought that I wanted to add things that I like live by or do every single day that have really helped with my IBS so there's things that I like live by like it's my religion so I do like consistently and then there's things that I I'm not the best. I forget about it, okay? So, things that I definitely do live by. So, one is slowing myself down. So, making sure I get enough rest throughout my day. So, yes, um, being busy and keeping active is healthy and it's promoted so much. But what I find, what isn't promoted as much and what is just as good for your health, if anything, sometimes better is slowing yourself down. So slowing your mind down, slowing your body down, what that is doing, it's also going to slow your digestion down. So when you're actually, you're moving a lot and you're exercising a lot, your digestion actually goes in like a fight or flight mode. So I find when I'm just so busy and on the go, 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 my digestion is in this fight or flight mode. It is, it's putting stress upon your body and it's not able to digest your food at its like optimal level like it usually would when you are resting and when you are calm. Allowing my body to have enough rest throughout the day, like, you know, in the afternoon, I'll set aside like an hour or two hours where I just chill, do nothing, I'll read a book, I'll meditate or I'll even have like a nap. It's, it's so funny because these things, they're not really like spoken about, you know, um, chilling and meditating and actually relaxing and slowing your body down. They're not really spoken about. People in the fitness industry and the health industry, they're constantly like, yeah, go, go, go and like kill yourself in the gym. That's not the best version of health. That's only what we see on a certain platform. Number two, well, something that I, yeah, I definitely do every single day is I don't actually drink liquids with my meals. So I find whilst when you're drinking like liquids with your meals, the liquid obviously will digest a lot quicker and then the food. Personally, it just makes me feel super uncomfortable. It bloats me and it doesn't actually allow my digestion to digest the food as well as it would if I didn't have any liquid. So that can also tie down with like food combinations. So food combinations is everything. Um, you, it'll, it's all just comes down to finding your food combinations that work well together and what don't. And a big no-no for me is like fruit with like anything solid at all. Like anything cooked, anything solid. If you are having fruit, try to have it like earlier in the morning on an empty stomach preferably and on its own. I think I'd be more prepared. Like I literally didn't write these down. I just winged it, but that's all right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a have a think. What else 
is really, really helping. And something else that I do try to do every single day, but like obviously with a busy lifestyle, it is hard, is just listening to your body. Like I know I talk about it so much on my channel and I say, you know, um, eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. It can be really, really hard to listen to your body, especially if you do have digestive issues. I promise you slowing down, like slowing your mind down, slowing your body down will actually help you with that. So my tip number one will help you with this tip. So listening to your body all comes down to just being being more mindful of what you feel good doing and what you feel good eating and when you feel good eating because like um, I find with IBS time slots I find like having like a routine with my time slots when I eat is really really helpful because it gets my digestion in a routine and I do try to allow at least like a 12 to 13 sometimes even 15 hour fast but like from my last meal to my first meal so I don't like to say I intermittent fast I just I kind of just eat whenever I'm hungry in the morning and I find I'm not hungry until roughly around like 10 and I stop eating around like 8, 8.30 at night. So I do like to allow my body time to properly digest its food. So doing that, I find I have become more mindful of my body and what it wants and when it wants food and what like food it wants. Like I can feel if I'm really dehydrated, I'll make a smoothie or if I feel I want something dense, like I'll make like eggs on toast or something like that. Like I just find listening to my body has really, really helped my digestion and not trying to force food when I feel like I don't need it because that's when I find my gut will really like react badly. So it's all about just listening to your body and finding what works for you. Like I said, I know I talk about it so much on my channel, but it is so important, like it needs to be spoken about. Okay, and the last other one that I do live by is allowing again your body to digest after a workout. So that's something that I never used to do. I used to think that you'd have to eat within like a half an hour time slot straight after your workout. And again, your body is in that fight or flight mode. You're better off waiting roughly around 45 minutes, an hour after your workout to actually allow your body to fully like get out of fight or flight mode before you start to eat. So I do like to, after my workouts, I have been trying to like cool down. That is something I'm really, really bad at, but I find I'm really, really tight lately. So I've been trying to cool down and stretch after my workout. So that's roughly around 10 minutes. So that's already kicked off like 10 minutes from allowing that fight or flight mode to like ease off. And then I'll go home, I'll have a shower. And by that time, it's been roughly around like 45 minutes. So it's, it's not like I'm like pushing it out and like starving after my workouts. I just seriously do try to allow my body to get out of that fight or flight mode. I only recently within the past year have figured out this fight or flight mode and your body could like, you could unconsciously be in this fight or flight mode for days without even knowing because if you were so active and you're constantly on the go, 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 your, your digestion doesn't know whether you're working out or you're doing like a thousand bloody kilometers with errands at the shops or you're going up and down certain stairs to work and to the office or whatever. So if you are like constantly on the go, go, go and you're not allowing yourself to have any rest or anything like that, it still sees that as the fight or flight mode. So it still sees that as working out because you are, you're still burning calories you're still moving it's about just being mindful and asking yourself are you resting enough are you you know doing certain things outside of your diet that are that could be affecting your bowel that could be affecting your IBS and that's something that I have only recently discovered rather than looking so much with what you're eating start to balance everything out in your focus and start to realize okay what in my life could be you know affecting it could it be stress could it be am i not resting enough am i resting too much am i not moving my body enough am i moving my body too much like there's so many things it could be you just got to find what it could be for you and it just comes down to like trial and error you know testing stuff out creating new routines and just again be mindful of you, your body, and what is going to work for you. Anyway, guys, I'm going to um, continue editing this vlog after I've done this. So I'm going to skedaddle because I only did, I did want to actually upload this video today because I wanted it like part one and part two to only have like a day apart. And then I'm working on another video for you guys. I think I'm going to upload a clothing haul soon. So I'm probably excited about that because I don't remember the last one I've done. So if you haven't already, make sure you do have my notification bell turned on. And if you are new here, make sure you do subscribe because it really, really, really supports my channel. Make sure you follow me on my socials. Anyway, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, hey, hey.
Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 